<laughs> hello, hello, hello. <laughs> hello. How are you? Fine, fine. Super fine. And you? I'm good. So, welcome cool. to our this talk. Thank you to invite me. Cool. Uh so let's begin. Yeah, I have some questions to ask you. Uh, uh before I ask you some questions, I just need to know where are you now? Okay, I'm in Switzerland. Ah, okay. Um, I have some family here and it's more free than the other country. Mhm. Mm <laughs> So great. I stay here like one week to enjoy the freedom of Switzerland. <laughs> mm -hmm. And tell mm -hmm. me if I'm wrong. I think we met in in Brussels, no? Yes, yes, for trainings. Uh, yeah. Yes, I remember you. <laughs> yes. Cool. Yeah, I think so. like I think two trainings with yes, you. Great. Yeah. Great. Great. So we would like to know more about you, your journey, your artistic journey, and what are you doing during this time, artistically and creatively. Your background, yes. Okay, I can I can start from the beginning. Yes. Um, I dance since four years old. I think like that I remember because before. I think I don't remember. Mm -hmm. um, because I was a little girl, I started with ballet, and mm -hmm. but it was difficult for with my body. I I, mm -hmm. I I don't have the body for the ballet, mm -hmm. so I switched to circus, mm -hmm. and and then I discover acrobatics and social dance like uh, like and also belly dance mm -hmm. because i grew up close to a moroccan family mm -hmm. and uh, i grew up also with a uh, other nationality because i grew up in a sort of tribe with a lot of nationalities mm -hmm. and so i learned uh, yes martial arts and Social dance, um, cueca, like from South America, also cueca, mm -hmm. salsa samba, all these things. Mm -hmm. And because my parents were um, did clown and was movers, um, I I saw that it's super difficult to live as a dancer or a performer. Mm -hmm. So I stopped dancing during three years to do set design mm -hmm. and that was interesting but not interesting like dance mm -hmm. <laughs> not like enjoying like dance so when i found uh, an, an economic um uh, balance like a uh, stability financial stability mm -hmm. i came back to the dance mm -hmm. so i graduated to choreography in uh, Isaac is a school in Belgium, in Brussels. Mm -hmm. and, and, but it's super conceptual. It's like okay. uh, conceptual dance. And so I was, I, I missed uh, a training now. Mm -hmm. so I started to, took a lot of workshops, uh, training workshop, workshop with different dancers, uh, contemporary dancer, mm -hmm. like uh, David Zambrano, mm -hmm. Michelin Parolin, mm -hmm. uh, Bruno Caverna, and so on and so on. And, and then to, I tried to, to, to make links between different uh, uh, practices. Uh, I, I found, um, a links between somatics practice mm -hmm. and conceptual art, so that it can be like easy to to make a sort of links in between. But uh, it's super far from my fire, like mm -hmm. the fire that I have inside. Mm -hmm. So that uh, what I learned, but mm -hmm. it's far from me. So um, I. 
I little by I contain myself doing mm -hmm. so much. And little by little, I found uh, a super powerful, the power in a, in a somatic practice. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I, I found like how to bring a little things, a micro movement to be super powerful. Mm -hmm. Like a martial art. we can see this also in martial arts. Yes. And so, yeah, I'm still searching in that sense and I'm not, uh, I'm not uh, uh, an expert in one technique, mm -hmm. but I'm not to, mm -hmm. to do a business in a technique. I'm like, I don't say that the techniques okay. can mm -hmm. uh, I try to be nourished by different, uh, mm -hmm. like the, yeah. uh, in the image of the my my childhood, no, mm -hmm, I mm -hmm. friend, culture yes, and yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. so then I create my company. Mm -hmm. uh, I I I change it in a cooperative because I like to to help uh, each other with the, like to to create things in common. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I have a piece that I work on since two years and uh, it's super difficult now because I have a partner in, uh, in Chile, like the, the, the Centro de Investigación Teatral. Mm -hmm. I have a partner also in Belgium and in Canada wow. and in France. But all this pay, like I, I had to cancel all the things or phone all the things. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, we try to do uh, like online things, mm -hmm. but it was super artificial. Mm -hmm. and, and then with the proposal of Sanskar, I found this proposition super original because. Mm -hmm. As you said in a in a video, you said like the important like the the a live performance is also to see the mistakes mm -hmm. or yes. and to not edit. Mm -hmm. And that I really found uh, interesting in like nowadays in this situation of COVID and in the situation of where is the audience mm -hmm. and how we can make a live video, mm -hmm. but, uh, but not in a like super efficient uh, way, like in a social media where you make a super quick and uh, and beautiful and intense mm -hmm. video, but not in another space, another time. Mm -hmm. Also, mm -hmm. so yes, I was uh, yeah, I was interested by this platform. Mm -hmm. You create a piece, yeah. <laughs> and we, we already saw your piece on Wednesday. It's where I am, right? The where I am, yes, yeah. Yes, yes. I am yeah. yeah, yeah. And uh, as you said before, it was a bit difficult for you to connect with your friends, partners, and try things through online. But how mm. how far did you went with this virtual reality? It was easy or not so easy or a bit comfortable because you said you tried so many things no through online to connect with your partners friends teaching maybe mm, yeah but i i did a lot of um like uh, schedule and when i could schedule uh, mm -hmm. I all the time and one uh, dancer with the one of my dancers live in um, in France, mm -hmm. the other one is in Israel, the mm -hmm. other one, uh, she went to Puerto Rico, mm -hmm. and I'm like, wow, all my partners <laughs> went everywhere. And I'm like, no, mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. So I thought like, okay, maybe I have to stop a bit and to create, um, and like with, with uh, what I have around me. Yes. And, uh, that is accessible mm -hmm. like my family maybe yeah my family it was a point mm -hmm. like we can work in a family is it mm -hmm. possible nowadays to to 
to have a company like a circus company, you know, like uh, the brothers, sister, everyone works mm -hmm. together. Yeah. And so I I went in this in this way to mm -hmm. find yeah. family work or, mm -hmm. or local, local, super local. Uh, mm -hmm. But somehow also, in a way, we, we learned too many things, no, during this pandemic situation, especially through online. So it was also gives us some new reality, how to adapt. Yeah, like, I'm afraid, like, I'm not, I'm a bit afraid about, I, you know, the Black Mirror uh, mm -hmm. movies, no? Yes, exactly. Like, we go in the way that we will just dance through videos. Yes. This is scared, no? It's yes. like, oh my gosh, that I won't like, I want that. But yes. uh, so I think we have to select what kind, what, how we can use the tools. Yes, yes exactly. Tool. We don't have to push the tools. Yes, out. yes, you're right. We can use it, but. Not like the in um, Chile, we 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 show a piece, uh, the same piece uh, as a run through, no? Mm -hmm. So, so through the video, and it's okay. super strange because we we need the the relation with the audience. Yes, you're right. So we need the feedback. We need the, yeah. Mm -hmm. so, nice. I'm waiting. <laughs> Yeah. Now we 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 back to your piece. Uh, where I am? Can you? Uh, uh, we we super curious to listen. How was the process about this piece? How did you? What was the thought process behind this piece? Okay. Uh, and you had also uh, uh, Jenny and Ton or Jian. Uh, how you? Jan. Jan. Yes. Yes. She so, Jan, uh, mm -hmm. she's uh, from my tribe, mm -hmm. <laughs> anyway, from my family, but extended family. Mm -hmm. So, so I went, like, after the lockdown, I went to my mother place because I thought, okay, uh, it's important to, to come back to the mm -hmm. mother place and also to the mother place of like the origin of the artists in France and, mm -hmm. in France. and so I really thought about moms, like mm -hmm. mom, what is the origin, where is the, what I'm doing. So I, I start like working one month and a half alone and I thought mm -hmm. maybe I would do a solo. And then when I met uh, my family, my tribe, mm -hmm. I I ask them to 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 try things that I experiment mm -hmm. during the lockdown. So we we choose a a, a painting, a Belgian painting uh, by Magritte, mm -hmm. and it's and it's painting with a with a mirror. And we we thought, okay, we will we will do the same composition. Okay. Mm -hmm. That is because it's uh, it's one is front and the other is back yeah. that like the image of the back is in front and it's yes. it's like impossible image. Mm -hmm. so we try to produce it and and then we we wonder it how mm -hmm. difficult mm -hmm. Something went off. I think we have some technical issues here. We will join soon again with Alicia. So Alicia, if you're there, just send the request one more time. Ah, oh, she's here. We are connecting soon, guys. Stay there, do not go anywhere. You are here. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. So, um, how 
we can, yeah, how we can make a life of painting. That's the question. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I, I create a, a sort of choreography uh, based on mm -hmm. inf like technical influences or somatics uh, mm -hmm. influences. Mm -hmm. And then I create um, a situation where uh, we don't know if what I'm doing, it mm -hmm. will be seen or not. And that okay. will be the, the nice uncertainty, mm -hmm. like how, how I show, do I show or not? And, mm -hmm. and uh, mm -hmm. the, the micro movement of Jeanne influence the, the point of view. And yeah. so, and also who is a performer? Mm -hmm. uh, or I'm the I am the performer or like the audience is, if the audience will be on the space moving can mm -hmm. be also performing. Yes, and also it was so clear to watch even if you are doing super minimalistic movements, we can see that what is happening there. And mm. it was, yes, and it was, and it was not necessary to go super loud what you're doing. So that was the main idea. We like that it was so strong image, what you're trying to say. And yeah, it, it was great. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah and this also a, a good question about the, the aesthetic of uh, performing, like generally like outside the, the street art aesthetic, it's super different. Mm -hmm. of, I sit in the stage, like in, in a big empty space, and also super different in the aesthetic of mm -hmm. uh, dance video, super close dance video. Mm -hmm. So, I to choose, like, do I will what kind of aesthetic I will choose for this situation? Mm -hmm. like, it was interesting yeah. to to yes, and also it's like, more 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 interesting. Because not for sure for people, it's completely new piece. They haven't seen this before. And also we were getting too many messages after watching your performances. They say now this is the modern way of showing your art to the society. Yes, so it was really nice. We were getting super great messages from our friends on Instagram and Facebook. Yes. Thanks a lot. Right. Yes. Yeah. And and uh, I have one more question. Where did you create this piece in Belgium, in Brussels? No, I created it in south of France. Yeah, in south France. France. Okay. Uh, I, mm -hmm. I mean, I I worked more in Belgium because I worked mm -hmm. in Belgium. I lived in Belgium, but my mom lived actually in south of France. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nice. So in the garden, it was in the garden of my mom, <laughs> my mom's garden. Mm -hmm. And 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 the mirror, it was so nice. How do you say? It's like antique piece. This mirror, mm. so old style. <laughs> yes. Yeah, like yeah. I, my, I'm, um, my family is Italian, so I'm mm -hmm. super influenced by the Baroque and uh, mm -hmm. Renaissance aesthetic. Yes. Yeah. And we are also getting some questions here because people are writing some questions. Let me see what they are asking. Uh, okay, not yet. So people, if you have any questions, please drop it in the question box so you, we can talk about her pieces more. Okay, next, coming back for tomorrow's performance. Yeah. <laughs> and this is also kind of super special performance because you mentioned you include your family, your mother. What is it about? <laughs> it's called Chiaroscuro, okay. right? Yeah, chiaroscuro is a, a technical uh, painting also. <laughs> I mean, the painting. <laughs> uh, and it's come from 
the Renaissance, uh, the period of Renaissance, mm -hmm. uh, between Italy and, and Belgium also. Mm -hmm. There is a lot of uh, Renaissance uh, painting in Belgium. And, uh, it's, for, um, it's a technique to, to reveal some part of things, but not everything. So it's also um, a philosophy way of life to, to not show everything, to not be super, um, super transparent. It's, mm -hmm. it's a proposition to just give a little things. That is also a theory, post-colonialistic theory, to accept to not know everything from the other. Uh, mm -hmm. So just... Uh, uh, something to say important and so I bring the techniques to create the image but then I I asked to my mom to dance with her and this is also in a way difficult uh, to to accept this and but interesting because I was dir dir I was the piece. directing the piece but it's my mom <laughs> <laughs> it uh, mm -hmm. can be difficult and also I asked for I, I tried to, to met all my stepmothers because mm -hmm. I have a lot of mothers mm -hmm. and um, so I asked uh, to, to my, one of my stepmothers to, to come and to also dance with, with us mm -hmm. and we, we were looking for what kind of movement can be the origin of uh, my dance, but also uh, the a practice that they do also. Mm -hmm. And so I will not say maybe the, the, this movement, what is, <laughs> but uh, my mom practiced this movement since 30 years, and my wow. grandmother uh, painting, painted this movement seen uh, like 60 years ago so it's, mm -hmm. it's a big transmission because in Europe we have we don't have a lot of culture mm -hmm. we don't have a lot of culture that we can transmit so mm -hmm. isn't it important to go back to old people and because mm -hmm. people with the coronavirus are mm -hmm. maybe disappearing so mm -hmm. we try to I try to come back to the transmission and the origin of some movements from my family mm -hmm. or my culture in a way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. And as you mentioned, you have also your grandmother, right? In the piece, because there are four performers. <laughs> it's not my grandmother, because my grandmother, my mother already, she's already dead. Okay. But, um, okay. It's my stepmother, in one of my stepmother. Stepmother, okay. <laughs> and I'm sorry for, and... sorry to hear about your grandmother. <laughs> no, it's a long time yeah. ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And so um, I work a lot with the back also, and mm -hmm. with the back, literally with the back, because I have, uh, in my school, I have this background of uh, postmodernism, uh, American postmodernism, with Steve Paxton that he work a lot with the back and exercise with the back, mm -hmm. and also with the, the idea of who is the audience and mm -hmm. back, who is front, and that will right. like a lot in the piece. Mm -hmm. So people, if you're listening there, do not miss this performance tomorrow. Please go to the website and watch. And in a few hours, we are going to open the, the next day's performances. So stay tuned and keep watching all the performances. Uh, guys, if you have more questions, keep asking. Okay. Uh, I have one more question now. Now, what is happening at the present moment? You have some other projects. You are creating something new again. Uh, I have my piece that I work on since two years, 
and I will finish it in October, and I will do it uh, in Paris, uh, the 20th of October in Etoile du Nord. Mm -hmm. But um, I need to find other uh, space to for the rehearsals because um, um, I had to to do the rehearsal in Canada and Chile, but it's mm -hmm. cancelled. So. Mm -hmm. And it's self now. It's about um, it's about Cueca, the, the history of the Cueca, the, so the history of this traditional dance uh, called Cueca, mm -hmm. and about the relation between uh, the exotism between European people or like yeah uh, American people uh, in confront to the other the the, the other world. How to go. In in other space. Are you here? Mm -hmm. <laughs> no. Yes, I, I heard. Just give me one second because my battery is a bit low, so I will just put okay. a charger here. Okay, yes, I'm here. I will keep the phone and you can see me, right? Yes. Okay. And uh, because right now I can see in Europe somehow it's everything is open, no? Now because studios are yeah. open, people are started dancing. And how was it few months before? Uh, how did you manage to continue your art? I I found like I I have a little studio that I rent uh, with other people, so we still continue. We was continuing go, going on the studio alone, mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. we, dan we danced outside also mm -hmm. or in house. Mm -hmm. But or, okay, it's opening again, like now. But uh, all the big companies uh, took mm -hmm. the empty space. Uh, so the young company or young choreographers are still uh, waiting and okay. and a lot of space okay sorry because we 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 change all the shadows mm -hmm. for the big company you have to wait uh, until the august uh, 2021 and it's like what wow. <laughs> wow. Mm -hmm. so I think it's not true but uh, it's a bit difficult so i'm i'm also trying to to finish a solo and to to create a solo with a trumpetist and mm -hmm. outside <laughs> mm -hmm. to be more free in a more free creation because my my creation right now it's with a three dancers a set design mm -hmm. um, on a bit uh, de sound design, so I need a, a theater, mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. I, I also do. Yeah, I wish, hope soon everything is going to open, yes, because i supposed to also travel to Europe now. We are stuck right. in Russia somehow, so we cannot go to Europe or to India, so we are waiting to yeah. see when everything is going to open, yes. Yeah, and also uh, there is a, a sort of responsibility uh, of the art. Uh, like, I mean, it's the art is super important, and I want to value the things that is not necessary, but it's like like art. But in other way, if I go to Chile in November, mm -hmm. maybe I can do it, but. Do I'm responsible to give back the virus again in uh, South Africa? This is a mm -hmm. big question. Yes, it's a big question. Yes. Like, as an artist, can I have this responsibility? Okay, the art is super important, super, super, super important. Mm -hmm. But do I go in Chile to to give back the virus in South America? <laughs> I'm not sure. That I, I don't know that. yet. Yes. Mm -hmm. okay, okay, let me see if we have more questions here. Not yet. Do you want to share to 
the art community you have any wish um yes i wish that we still can do what we love to do not what what we are able to do mm -hmm. what we are good on but we what we like yes yeah, what we like love It was so inspiring to hear you and about your piece and also about your family, how you include them in your performances. That's so great. And people, I said, yeah, get inspired. Again, yeah. No. <laughs> say, say again. I didn't hear you. It's a bit romantic uh, point of view now to try to imagine that we can live with a company as a circus company yes. with yes. traveling and being free of uh, staying in the same house and like mm -hmm. maybe it's possible <laughs> yeah so alicia thank you so much for joining us and we are pleasure to have you for artist talk and sure we are going to watch your performance tomorrow and i wish you good luck and people if you are watching there do not miss this performance and also there are amazing other set of performances are there on the website so thank you alicia You're welcome <laughs> and good luck and thank you to organize all this uh, Sanskar festival that I think it's a lot of mm -hmm. organization. Yes, it's thank big work. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, big work. And I also thank to the to my team, my partner, my friend Rakesh Sukesh.